tunenge tusinga zoiti nenya yaye kuti mabasa 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 tikasashanda raka muridzi hapana kazinombo famba kana saka tine tichiwa pano tichidzidzisana tichitandara tichita zvakasiyana siyana asi mabasa muridzi nofanwa kudzidzishandirwa anditika tofanwa kushandira vana vedu tofanwa kushandira e muridzi edu aha so vamwe manenge vachizoona nekufamba kwengo wa hello hallet so i want you to understand this guys ga kuramba na kusiko kupera ko upenyu i'm not advocating for divorce but kana zva kushika pakuti zvauda kutora upenyu hwemunhu ga guys kune vanhu vano abuse avamwe vanhu mwari chaisha yawa aka institute marriage aka ifananidza ne church yake anditika akati zoni um marriage inofanwa kuita a reflection of zvinoita Jesus ne church Jesus akada church akaifira anditika mukuifira kwake haina kuifira nekuti yanga yakanaka akatoifira yakagara muzwi church iyi but nekuti akada vanhu vake akaifira akaisuka neropa rake to to perfect it for himself so nekudaro ano i protect ano i uh, preserve he broods over it nekudaro marriage yakasikwa as an zvakafanana ne reflection uh, in a mirror image of church kuti murume anofanwa ku protect mukadzi wake anofanwa ku preserve mukadzi wake wash him with the word of god kum sanctifier for his own good murume must love the wife Sema dira neta Jesus church yake. Murume must submit under the authority of God. Mukazi wo submit under his authority. Hapana munhu anoda ku submit apa asi pe munhu asina kwano submit. There are some people who are so prideful so kuti hana umwe munhu anotomboterera, hana umwe munhu anoda kunzwa uh, advice yake. Um Ndiri kutaurisa someone is saying reduce your volume sorry mwari wanga ndipo voice nenda kure i will do the best i can kathy sorry my darling i will try the best i can so mwari vaka pamfananidzo we kurorana kwe murume nemukadzi kufananidza ne church yake saka ukaona zvini zvizvo zva distorted zvakuitika the other way round yeah what well, the other way round zvakureva manje kuti chi azisi kuchafanana ne church ukaona muruma akuroa mukadzi wake zvekuti ziso rinodona kuvomoka kuvhama rinogara kurembera kudai unorohwa zvekuti mazino esano vhaya vamwe vanorohwa mukati munopfekwa hembe kuti usaone kwato akarohwa vamwe vanorohwa pari obvious pekuti unoona kuti munhu uyu arohwa ushu whether vanhu vari kuzona kuti warohwa kana tavana kurohwa ka it's a problem let me tell you this it's a problem so because of that ka pane pauno sika pakuti kumwa kusikurowa kwezi fight imwe i mental fight chaye cha psychological fight yekuti murume nemukadzi they abuse each other verbally vamwe vano abuse na physically vamwe psychologically mentally zvekuti munhu anopenga this thing that i'm talking about it's reality i have witnessed them i have helped people who are going through this munhu anenge kutopenga zvekuti unoona munhu achifamba asina kupfeka anditi netuvano arufamba netuvana twake hana kupfeka hana ku and kempty and all this why mental trauma yacho notofunga kuti pangu pacho akarohwa ake physically ari right because zvinopinda mfungwa umashoko chayo ka havikwi you can defend yourself against words and mashoko anogara pamoyo apa saka those kind of things can actually disturb zvinokwanisa ku destroy upenyu hwevanhu saka what i'm going to do is um uh biata if you are there can you please type ed there kana uri po biata pa live streaming inway i want you to type ed type ed so i can add you and we can start i was just saying a little bit of stuff um kuitira kuti vanhu vambo ungana mbijana ndichimbo explain kuti why are we doing this what is the whole purpose of doing this zvinobatsire izvo zvezvo chakakosha chi e vanhu vanongo sandogara vana vangu kana kuti fira apo and i know there are some people who are going to <laughs> to be asking my questions kuti zvo nishokora mwari not god hates divorce does he love you being beaten to death does he love you being stabbed to death does he love you uh, being uh, mentally psychologically and uh, physically abused to a point where you are now dysfunctional and you can't feel fulfill your purpose ndio zvaungati rezo zvezvo akomana ka psychological trauma yeah i agree with you jane psychological trauma is the worst I'm telling you it is the worst trauma kurova kuri nani uh biata is here let me see whether i can add her so we can start
Mm. Right. I don't think I have that option. I always have problems when I'm doing it here on Sisimeli. I don't know, maybe because I'm just uh, connected. Because I, I join here through my own account. Maybe that's where the problem is. Uh, Beata, if you think you can actually request me to add, you have written ad, but then uh, doing it, you have written ad, it is not doing it. So I'm going to try one more time to add you. And if it's not going to work... Then we have to continue. I'll have to no viewers to uh, to uh, no. I don't think this. Okay, right. I'm gonna call Beata now, and we can start. Hello, hello. I also can't find where I can add. It's okay, it's okay. You're already on the live now. I have just called you and we are going to do it like this because there's no, for some funny reason, there's no button that I can press there. I'm trying to press, but there's no list of people that I can invite. You know, you're supposed to have a green button before you can invite someone. But anyway, all the same, we are going to start. So, Beata is a very powerful woman of God, like I've told you. She also has experienced a uh, divorce before and she has managed to heal. She has a uh, beautiful uh, three children, two boys and a girl. She has two grandkids now. And she is someone who has healed properly to a point where she is friends with her ex-husband. And the ex-husband is my babam kuru. <laughs> and uh, I love these two with their own uniqueness and with what they are doing. If you remember very well, the last time when we were talking about um, domestic violence, domestic and family violence here, domestic abuse, it was her ex-husband. So you can actually heal properly to a point where you can make progress in life in a healthier way than you. You know, there's sometimes when you are healthier, separate than being together. So I'm going to let Beata here um, introduce herself to you guys. Keep inviting other people, please. Keep inviting other people. So I don't know what's happening, Beata. There's a lot of background noise in your phone. I'm not sure what is going on. Uh, it's like your Facebook live is behind. <laughs> so, can you remove, is so can you remove, so remove I'll just anything? reduce the volume on the live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, reduce totally, totally to nothing because yeah, otherwise you'll be heavy. Yeah. All yeah. right. Thanks for inviting me. Um, as you have just said, my name is Beata Chinoy. And um, I've gone through a lot and I've managed to come out intact at the other end. Uh, we thank God, we thank God. Guys, uh, I heard what you're saying there. There is no green button. So there are two, you know, two, 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 two I'm seeing them, but they're in white. Unless they turn green, I can't invite Beata. So unfortunately, we have to do it this way. I've tried a few times and time is moving. So we have a lot to cover within a short space of time. So I would rather we start. So before we go to actually talking about divorce, I just want uh, Beata to explain what is your understanding? What is marriage to start with? For me, marriage is a covenant. It's a covenant between a man and a woman mm -hmm. for our purposes. Uh, we are not talking about same-sex relationships here. We're talking about a man born a man and a woman born a man. And it's that covenant which they make before God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's not an, a contract like some people take it to be, mm -hmm. but it's actually a, um, a spiritual covenant that mm -hmm. God has ordained mm -hmm. for men and women to right. be able to come together, get married. For what purpose? For the purpose of procreation, because God requires a spiritual children for himself. Mm -hmm. For his kingdom to grow, he requires spiritual children born mm -hmm. unto him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I understand about marriage. And for marriage to work, you have to have love. Mm -hmm. You have to have commitment. Mm -hmm. You go into it expecting yeah. a forever 
type of relationship. You're not looking at what will I get out of it. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, if we divorce, what will happen? So you are going in with a plan A. Mm-hmm. You have no plan B. That's it's right. just that's the relationship I want. Mm-hmm. This is who I'm committing to. And there is no looking this way or that way. For me, that's what marriage is. All right. So, just uh, after Kuruga, because we don't want to have an Vachi Chemera, Totam Zisis or Chinumbons marriage because divorce, ka, divorce, iri popa ku rampa, na makambe makarorana. Saka like Beata is explaining, it is union, yem rumenemukazi. But that union, yo, 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 when do you call it union? I can still hear some noises. I don't know what is going on, Beata. They still call it. I'm sorry. Of... Nyata is just trying to tell me where to connect. Oh, yeah, on the like the green button thing. Nyasha, if you are doing it, do it with no volume at all. And once you do that, you, you can type here and then I'll follow the instruction of what you'll be saying. Meanwhile, we need to continue. So yeah, just try, try Nyasha with a different gadget. And when you find it, can you please, you can just um send a message there on the live streaming. Nyasha is on the live streaming as well, is it? Or oh, she's using yeah. your... Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, she's working on it. So yeah, carry on. Sis. So anyway, <laughs> so I was saying... Chinobon's marriage church or Chinofan owns with Sika because Kunaman or Kuchema is on Ah, Murumango are going to divorce. And yet you were never married. It is very important because I'll tell you the truth. Being a life coach, I have heard a lot of these things, you know. I have heard a lot of people who are crying over Chikomba, not a, a husband. Because, okay, Tombo is on Amuna and you marry because one man one misunderstanding. Panapana and Ocasiana Sena, Panaman and my religions, Ocasiana Sena. But let me put it this way whatever is recognized in your culture, culture is very important. We can't run away from it. No. Whatever is recognized in your culture as marriage. Vana mai vedu, vana sekuru vedu, vaka roru, wa, vana mbovira, wambo pinda mu, chechi wa chita white wedding. But vaka roru, wa because vaka ita traditional chi wedding. Vaka visiru wa mari. Kana wina mari zwa kwa ye kutu wende kuna ita white wedding. That is good to be blessed mu chechi momo. You can still be blessed by your pastor as long as mam chita courtship zenyu mu chita zenyu zenyu wa chi zendo za muda kuita and you go and get traditionally married. Then you can come back they will announce that now you are married and then you can be blessed. It's not about the white dress and everything else. It's about the commitment and the uh, uniting things that are done. Pakati pe muri zenyi papo zuneitwa makawacha za kasiana siyana kutimunzi zimarorwa. Isus kwe du sema Zimbabweans kuyenda kune mabere kwe mkazi muno badara fuma. Ma badara fuma mokumbira mchatu. Makumbira mchatu. Then muno kwa sanda kwa mjiti kuno chata kana kutimuenda kuchechi muno chata. Mwenda zwa mbuda kuita. I want to make this very clear because ndino sanga na nemi vunzi Zaka siana siana yevano ne na moiriko iyo i na na COVID nineteen moiriko iyo yevano aku tora zinu so literal and it's causing so much pain guys don't play with your emotions no you can be damaged permanently and you will not be able to function effectively saka musango ita move in and start live together that's not marriage murungo garamega you are cohabiting. Murukita zenyu ko habiting. Murukita chifambi chenyu. Murukita zamu zenyu zomsoro wenyu. Heaven has not recognized you as married. Neither are your parents. And you think, how can I respect you? How can I respect you? So then, if you are now married, kana wangu zo siyana ne murume ye, ndiye non zi divorce. Kusiyana ne boyfriend yako, or whatever, fiance or partner, that is not divorce. Ameno zo amino da kuzidai, zazuri kwa muru dumoda kuzidai zorichi. So, today we are dealing with the proper thing. The one that is an institution in the presence of God. And you think, yeah. So, ndo ya tiku dila na yopana apa. And you think, so we are done with that one. Now, during the process, and it, during the process, now Marora, during the process, yacho yekuti murugaramese and stuff like that. Uh, I want to understand from my sister Beata, kuti, one one of Garsana say kwa I think you mentioned a bit, kuti zoni panafana wanga pane, it's sacrificial love. There is supposed to be that soft love and that tough love. This is really poison. So you have to have empathy and compassion for each other. And it makasangana kutumudanane and you are enhancing each other's purposes in life. You are supposed to, to be um complimenting each other, you are supposed to be intertwined spiritually. Uh and I always say Maluks ega I think and it 
Kutara nendi imi aku badari ma bills futi. Rizwe, zozo kuno ano na mat. Charisma mm -hmm. ai badari ma bills. There are some responsibilities. Zino fano aku itika ipa pa po kuti muanis. Mukwani se kumi samusha. Andi diga. Saka saka. I want to ask my sister Biata. What are some of the things like you may if you may explain? Kuti zine tatu mire diacho ifa bezwa ganaka. Enzo no zenge zwa zwa zoska pa pi. Zine zwa zombo shata pa pi. What will happen? Kuti muna zoska pa breaking point. Yekuti I can't do this anymore. Can we go our separate ways? Yeah. So what what happens when you get married? You don't forget that you are getting married to a person. Wawasangana na ya most likelihood in your adulthood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have met. You come from very different families. Mm -hmm. You were brought up in a very different way from each other, mm -hmm. and then you are expecting to get along. That's right. Makato kura makato siya na values are different totally. Mm -hmm. And if you are both not Christian, that makes it even worse because manema added values ekutera jesu and it. Yeah. So if you don't recognize that right from the beginning, mm -hmm. it becomes really hard for you to function properly because I am expecting you to conform to what I value, mm -hmm. and you are expecting me to conform to what you value. Mm -hmm. If we don't talk about it and we agree on a middle ground mm -hmm. there's gonna be tension between right. us right so the first days are gonna be very happy honeymoon mm -hmm. and then you start seeing all those differences start to creep up right whatever you see that's different when you are boyfriend and girlfriend mm -hmm. be very sure that when you are now married mm -hmm. it's not going to go away it will only magnify that's right because they are now staying in the same house mm -hmm. so the most important thing when you get married is communication. Mm, mm. As women, we have this habit of expecting people to guess what we are thinking, mm -hmm. and we pout. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Men don't even recognize that. They look at you pouting, they think maybe you have got a headache today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you need to do is express what you what you want to happen. Express what has upset you. Yep. Men can can also say and finish and think that it's resolved. Mm -hmm. But then women hold on to whatever it has been said and don't let go so quickly. Mm -hmm. So you both need to know that you must sit down and discuss and make right. sure that everything that has gone on between mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Everyone really understands the purpose of anything that's going on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I understand why you said this specific thing. Mm -hmm. I understand why you eat and chew with your mouth open. <laughs> I must understand why you throw your clothes on the floor. It doesn't matter how small mm, mm. or how big mm. the differences are. Mm. You have to communicate and discuss. That's right. Because if you don't understand, it means that you are going to harbor that thing in your heart. Mm -hmm. If it's a thousand small things, they accumulate and become a big thing. That's when you see somebody can just wake up one day mm. and slash somebody's throat. Mm, 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 mm. People will be wondering, but exactly what happened? My goodness. It's because things build up. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So basically, my sister Beata is saying, you. <laughs> There is no, I always say there is no room for assumption. As this is what I would answer, I actually funga egg, chetu daruz, nas and slot or a sagania, ripondia catia cat, or unfano funga out in nas and slot or a zip. I always say in marriage, there is, uh, you know, communication, effective communication and companionship. Those are the things that made you to come together as husband and wife. Personal companionship. Personal friendship, personal effective communication, you are doomed for destruction. And the worst thing is when people actually react to things instead of responding. There are two different things there. Responding is thinking over things and then, oh, now it is not my benefits. It's not about winning. It's not about winning arguments or those kind of things. You have to weigh out things. But reaction, you just lash out every time. You just Zabuti Munana Tofung got to go and Dakumba with the Muru Meganamukas, and then Dakumba Nuiti, Munaneta Gajatra extra shift. So Kufari Rabasa, Ravagoman, Kufara Gunti Makumari Cho, 
because kumba kune shumba iriko isinga tangiki saka makasangana na chii and the emotions are just piling up bottling up one after the other umane pride yekuti haudzwi zvekuita hatsi urwi hadi kudzwa anything and as a result it becomes zvino unoshika pakuita overflow so and once you become overflowing ndo panozosvika time yekuti munhu aku export aku aku thing aku explode ipapap now we are going now deeper into the actual topic yatanga yataka garira pana right when it's now building up and you have tried everything else mambo enda ku counseling maenda ku life coaching ma include vana tete ana ni vese maita zvinhu zviri kutongoita west and west kana kuri kurova na makutorova na even more kana kuri kuiginwa na makuiginwa na even more kana iri silent treatment <laughs> kana iri silent treatment yakuto musoro yakuda kuputika ishi kana iri anger bitterness resentment it has become a point yekuti zva ma dysfunctional vana havachazivi totarisa kupi toita zvipi toita kumbereka kupi and that's the point where you have to be very careful because ipapa hapo if you are not careful vabereka they begin to take my sides ever na like as in kuda kunyea the other parent kuda ku disadvantage the other parent and uh-huh. uh, you are you are causing kids to be caught in between as zvinhu zvasina kumbo apply kuti zvitike now i want you to address this issue yekuti munhu anotanga kuita that anger that bitterness ya kuita resentment because things are not being addressed and yeah. you have exhausted all avenues zvekuti mutry kuita still there is violence there is abuse everything is still going on so bad like that zvakutoda kutokanganisa upenyu hwemunhu how do you go about that kuitira kuti zvinge zviri at least in a healthy way vanava kids ha apa ka apa ka we now want to look at how did it, did we get to where we are now aha uh-huh. Tanga chiri chii cha konzera was it lack of sexual intimacy mm-hmm. was it lack of faithfulness mm-hmm. was it lack of respect and honor lack of submission mm-hmm. what was it was it somebody is bombotaura but some people are so prideful was it lack of humility mm-hmm. is there a lack of unity in your marriage what is it exactly mm-hmm. are you not patient enough with your spouse mm-hmm. what happening are you not tolerant with their minor habits mm-hmm. um, is it that you are not honest with each other mm, so mm, we have to look mm. at all that yeah mm-hmm. that you are in a marriage it's it's funny these days because when people go into a marriage they are going in as if they are going into a battle <laughs> they are forgetting that it's a union yeah mm-hmm. the bible says you become one flesh that's right so automatically if you fight to win mm. it means you also lose that's right There's mm. no winning when you are one flesh. You mm. can't win over yourself, right? Yeah, true. We true. have to explore why am I feeling this way? Why have I reached this stage? Mm. Is it that I want to be the one in control? Yeah. Because of course in that so far no silent treatment and no this of it. That's a lie. Because that silent treatment is exactly what it is. You are trying to treat something which you consider a problem. Uh-huh. and you are treating it with poison. <laughs> There's no way it's going to work for you. That's right. <laughs> so when you are giving someone a silent treatment, it means that even when they say good morning, mm. you are quiet. Ah yeah yeah. Even when they say I love you, you are quiet. Mm, mm, mm. You are not responding. So that means when you go to bed, Some people will say I will give him his things but I'm, I I I won't talk to him. How are you even going to be able to do that? No, you can't. You can't. You, you can't. have to talk to him. Mm. So it's a manipulative tool that you are using to abuse someone, to mm-hmm. get control, mm. to get the results that you desire. Mhm. Mm-hmm. So I don't suggest that you be silent. If you are thinking that I will, I am too angry right now. Mm. I can't talk to this person without saying something I'll regret. Mm-hmm. You're not going to do the silent treatment route. Mm. You are mm. going to say, "Honey, right now I really can't talk. I'm going to take a walk mm-hmm. or I'm just going to cook. We'll talk later." Yeah. Mhm. Then you leave it at that. Muna arukutsisa kuti nyaya haisati yapera tichataura. Mhm. When you do the silent treatment, you ask us to help you to quit it. This also. 
You live in wondering. Ie manji, anutanga kui imagina wakuti, ah, maybe, yeah, and he starts justifying, or she starts justifying herself in her mind mm -hmm. before you even address the issue. Yes. The fact that by the time you get to addressing the issue, you are already at loggerheads. Ah, yeah, 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 That's hondo, kando, hondo, yeah, manga mamu mutaura. But I, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's not me or the husband go out there, speak to friends, mm -hmm. and say, ah, murumu wangu chakasoti. Mm -hmm. Talking down about the husband, mukazi wangu chakasoti. Talking down about the wife, going to relatives, much mm -hmm. discuss at this man or this woman. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. already destroys your unity. This also, this also. What you forget is that the power of the tongue, yeah, it destroys or it builds up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you gotta be very careful what you issue out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. If you say my husband irombe. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what you are going to get back. Mm. Yeah, let me let me just pick. Uh, there is someone Leah here. Leah is saying a lot of women are living with Nazis, Nazis, Nazism. Yeah. The, okay. the main problem is that women have platforms such as this to discuss, but men don't sit to discuss issues with women. Do you know what, my sister? Let me just answer you. Uh, mm -hmm. Platform, you know, you guys, it's similar to there is guy. I see our chat. If platform, you have to never room. And I, I, I have too, actually yeah. shared this video live streaming to the biggest platform that I know so far. I got Zara, especially one of background. You know, you know, so, you know, so, you know, people, can, they choose what they want in life. Whether, <laughs> whether, um, and I can assure you, because I shared this um, flyer on Vengen Veng, right? Some people think watching it, me, I do, I and it is a shows or Zema session, Emma Fanny Fanny. Uh -uh. Mine is to build up, mine is to help each other and to correct each other so that we can have a better uh, future. So, what happens is some of the uh, topics are very sensitive. And I appreciate that. But what I've realized, if you check later on, you find that there are people who feel they can't have no one as well divorces or so on. I don't want to know if this when maybe I'm having problems or I'm about to divorce or they think I'm having challenges in my marriage or my relationships. So kuna wanu wano ya uzo wacha panapa niko dimasli. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> there are some yeah. people who come and watch Niko Dimasli. So well, it's okay. I understand. Okay. We we respond and we react to things differently, and it is okay. Yeah. Let them do that. It's fine. But what yeah. I want, I want to go back to um, what Beata was saying. You are not, you are not getting when you get into marriage. You are not getting into a battlefield, yeah. And you are not if once you have your mentality and your motive into getting uh, in that marriage it has to be right. Beata was saying earlier on that you don't get into it because big boys in town. I'm going to get a house, and all. that's not the point of marriage. Once no. you are doing that, you are being no. selfish already, and you are not taking a marriage for what it was created by God you are for. You disrespecting God. Yeah, so well, those kind of things are not good for you to go into marriage with that kind of mentality. But anyway, <laughs> um, when do we actually say uh, we are now in a, a situation where it's becoming really dangerous and this is now the breaking point? You have tried everything. Yes, thank you. We are going to have a relationship. We are in You are in a relationship. You are in a relationship. You are a relationship. You are in a relationship. You are in a relationship. You are in a relationship. You as the church submits to, to Jesus, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So in where way it starts with you, you've got to address yourself. Because uh, maybe that's how it's been all the time. I don't know. But in where way, how are you reacting to that narcissism? Mm -hmm. 
So this one, got, let me put it, let me say this. It can't carry on. Yeah, let me say this though. Uh, my nan sister, it can be a woman, it can be a man, it can be both. Yes, uh -huh. And so I put men don't get this forum. It doesn't matter. Mm. It doesn't matter. Iwewe, semwana anotera jes. Act the way you are supposed to act, mm -hmm. auntie. Mm -hmm. And then see if that's your behavior doesn't get reflected. What is this man or this woman going to find if you, as the believer, you are doing the right thing? Mm -hmm. If you are a woman, you are being submissive. Mm -hmm. If you are a man, you are loving your wife. Yeah. If you are having that behavior, what is this person going to fight against? Mm -hmm. It's nothing to fight against, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we must remember that when we say submit, because I see that women struggle with that word a lot these days. Mm -hmm. I think we are saying that you must be somebody's dormant. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's the case. Mm -hmm. Dr. Miles Monroe, I can say that concept very nicely. Mm -hmm. it's, it's women, we are helpers. Mm -hmm. We get married. Men are looking for helpers. Yeah. But when somebody is looking for a helper, let's just say there's a heavy thing to be lifted there. Mm -hmm. They are not going to look for somebody who is weaker than them. Mm -hmm. They are going to look for somebody of equal strength yeah. or greater strength than themselves mm -hmm. so that they can get the help they need. Right. So as a submissive part of mm -hmm. the marriage, mm -hmm. your part is equally important. Mm-hmm. Because what you are doing is building up this man. Mm -hmm. The man is then taking on what you are giving him mm -hmm. and using that to make sure that his family succeeds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you get me? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter you are married to a narcissist. But I'm sorry, you should have seen when you were dating that this guys. man is narcissist. <laughs> guys, and guys, you were guys. thinking it will get better, but it yeah. will not. Yeah, guys, guys, I want, I want you to know this. Tiri kuni kaza siana siana. Andi tiga, be nice, ma comments umo. Tiri kuni kaza siana siana. Andi tiri, I'm not in your country, okay? I am in a different country where it's freezing cold. I have a heater on right now. So musada kubu behave ngi se. Ndi mumu nzo tongo tambura umshita zaku focus. Tiri kwa na very good advice from our sister Biata here, and you are busy saying things that are. <laughs> that are useless. Those are fake. Apollo, like you know, they are not good. No, I'm not. No, I'm not good. You know, type it. Then you mean me? Can demand? No, we're good. We should pause. Then you mean me? Do you know? Oh, my God! 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 Uh, people like this are always there somewhere, but we are not going to pay attention to your foolishness. You can keep yeah. going like that. Anyway, so, so we're, we're at that point where it's reached a point of no return, or supposedly a point of no return. Right, right. So but we are going to church every day, and we are prophesying that nothing is impossible with God. Uh huh. <laughs> now, uh, for me, there there is um. A bit of a, a rift. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. To understand, uh -huh. I am a divorced woman. Uh -huh. My situation is very different from your situation. Uh -huh. The reasons uh -huh. why I divorced will be very different from your situation. Yeah. Like we said at the start, uh -huh. Uh -huh. violence is never acceptable. That's right. That's right. And I think God Himself says it, in, even in the same breath that He says He hates divorce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He says it. Mm -hmm. He hates divorce because it 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 it, it brings violence. That's right. It's like mm -hmm. violence. He equates it to to violence. These exact words were. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, For the Lord God of Israel says that he hates divorce, yeah. for it covers one's garment with violence. Mm, 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 mm. So if divorce is being equated to violence, mm. violence itself must be abominable to God. That's right. right. That's right. So that one is aside already. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sexual immorality in mm. marriage, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that already has been excused. Mm. It says you must not divorce your wife. Mm -hmm. Unless it's for reason of sexual, sexual infidelity. Yeah, yeah. Right? 
Three, if you are yoked with somebody who is an unbeliever and you are a believer, mm. you must stay peaceably with that person, yep. whether your wife or mm -hmm. your husband. Mm -hmm. But if that person who is an unbeliever decides they are going to walk away from this marriage, yep. you must let them go. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's another instance where you can't fight divorce. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about where all things are equal. Yeah. And you as Mr. or as Mrs., mm. you are saying, I can't reconcile these differences with this woman anymore because you are arguing every night mm -hmm. about money. You are arguing every night about the relatives. You are arguing every night or every day about the children. You are arguing about something. You are not agreeing about something. Mm -hmm. There, that there is the difference there. I think you can come back from that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think if you put yourself into a program where you are really committed to mm -hmm. recovering, you declare that I want to save my marriage. All right. Whether my wife, whether my husband is on the same page as me or not, I believe you can. Mm -hmm. The steps to do that is number one, mm -hmm. you need to forgive. That's right. You need to forgive. Whatever has happened in the past, mm. you need to forgive yourself. That's right. You need to forgive your spouse. Mm. But first, you need to acknowledge that there is a problem. Obviously, you are seeing there is a problem. Mm -hmm. No holier-than-thou attitude. I was a shandish. As a shandish. It doesn't matter what he or she is doing to you. Mm -hmm. You can cry until the, the cows come home. But if you don't acknowledge that as a human being, you are imperfect, you must be contributing in some way as well. Mm. Because marriage takes two. Mm, 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 mm. It takes two people to make one. Mm, mm -hmm. And it says a three-strand um, a three -strand cord is unbroken. Yeah. That three-strand cord has to involve God, number one, mm -hmm. yourself, mm -hmm. and your spouse. Right. But with any rope, if you are pulling one direction, Mm, and mm. your spouse is pulling another direction. Mm -hmm. God is steadfast; is not pulling. Exactly. You are going to unravel this rope. Mm, mm, it's mm. not going to be strong anymore. It will be broken because now the enemy can cut one strand at a time. Mm, mm. Only strand that will be left standing will be God. That's it. Mm -hmm. So you have to make a decision mm -hmm. that this marriage is mine. This marriage I need to save. Mm -hmm. If communication with your spouse has failed, you go on your knees, you pray. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You ask for forgiveness for yourself. Mm -hmm. You forgive yourself. Mm -hmm. You forgive your spouse. That's right. And once you have managed to forgive in that manner, you arise above all the differences. Mm -hmm. Because now, even when you are attacked, you are in the position to be able to turn the other cheek. Mm -hmm. Because you haven't got that self-righteousness anymore. That's it. You have broken. Mm. You have allowed yourself to be broken. That's it. Now, then once you, you if the, the spouse is attacking and there's nothing, you are responding with love. Mm, mm, mm. Instead of responding by trying to repay, he says, do not repay evil for evil. Mm. Isn't it? Mm. So mm. once you respond with love to any evil attack, mm. then that spouse is going to start questioning now. Mm, what am mm, I doing? Mm, mm. They come at night, you have cooked a nice meal, you you put the nice meal there, they throw it on the floor. Mm -hmm. Ah, sorry if you didn't like what I cooked. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to cook something else? Mm -hmm. You clean up. If he's mad at you, this is a spouse who doesn't hit you, by the way. Yeah. If he's yeah. mad at you, mm -hmm. you clean up. Good night. Do you say anything else that you need? No, you go. Mm -hmm. You go into that bedroom. You, you don't go to the other end of the bed. Mm, mm. Let him be the one to fall out. I didn't come for the blankets. Mm -hmm. I, come, I came here for this very body. Whether you are my wife, you are my husband, that's who I came for. Mm -hmm. Because the minute you allow yourself to sleep apart like that, there's a gap in the middle. I am very very spiritual these days mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i believe when you leave that gap in the middle between you 
You are leaving room for a spiritual husband or yeah. spiritual wife. In a decade or a spiritual husband or wife. In a the anchor of marriage is companionship. This is what Beata is saying. Companionship, you can't have companionship when umarukurara uko, umarukurara kuspele, umarukurara uya chita unga chabatira pass at the other end of the bed because you are running away from each other. Munoto fita wana tu paka tipe mbeda, umo uko, umo uko. So that companionship here is very paramount. In the spare, follow into the spare. Mm-hmm. So companionship iyo yo yo plus that communication iyo yo. You can't keep going. I don't believe that you can keep going kungoti wabika warasa wabika wasoda so wawacha munaita so open the garai pass mtaurane there is need for effective communication. I is marriage is singa taurane because there is no perfect marriage and it marriage takes two imperfect people together to be able to help each other. To, to to strength strength each other in point of witness and it saga kakuti paita misunderstanding or argument iyo yo yo don't nest it i i i believe if you continue to ignore it and you continue to just pretend like nothing is happening that's when you continue to drift further and further away pamunda uzeta that discussion iyo yo constructive yacho it will take a, 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 a a month and lifetime of effort for you to start talking, and you will find with Mukaz no no care after talking. Yet we must tension you. Yes. Each other, one of you to go down lower or to break um pride. Yake, kuti mukwanza futi mutanga kusekere ran. You are not going into a battlefield like Beata was saying. Address issues as they arise. Don't nest them in a basket. Never basket. Uh situations or circumstances of your marriage or problems of your marriage address them along the way could you decide to build up because you find it could you address 10 things at one go who never that capacity take in so many things and i have realized with my um experience in counseling some people who come and say ah iwe wenda kakunza wati usa tanga watenga mota iyo yoyo tisatita deposita and then this other person because he let's say it's me who is saying why did you buy the car before we deposited fees for mana then this one is like but when you bought this thing i didn't say anything you see it's like panasha nagambo ita ukasandi basi ya kuti wawu da uzo zita ura nasi ne kuti nini da uzo ita something chisiri right this means you are building up you are ignoring things kote ne kuti zuru kunakiza but ne kuti uru kuti nchazo ita or something do not want to say i mean that's that becomes a better field already that's wrong yeah so those with each other yeah so those things need to be addressed there's need for things to be talked about or talked on before they become too much out of control now people have come to a point where they are saying we really can't do this anymore like you're saying the aunties the teters and everyone my, my professional counseling everything vanhu vakuto vamwe atopa mapiritsa bp hapa tension vamwe vane zvirwere zve sugar vamwe vane zvirwere zve moyo vamwe mentally vato depressed o vakutonga mapiritsa right you are at a breaking point here kuti asichaiti kana kuri kuro hawamwe asara neziso hwani o akutonga ruoko o akambotengwa musoro o mazina apasisina those things are happening muna achiramba achingoti ndogarira pana apa zvasvika pekuti you are now going and it how how do you address that okay if you are someone asina mwana hake it's okay vane vana vakunzwisisa va level yekunzwisisa kuti what is going on of course these kids kuzona mangushika pakuti mangurambana naga i want to tell you the truth whether you are trying to hide it or what kids will see and it now mashuka pakuti zoti zvakutopara zvakuparara how do you present it to the kids how do you address it to the kids it's it's very difficult that one mm. it is so difficult and when you are in marriage you've reached that stage mm. especially when you've got children mm. You've got that concept of I want to stay for my children. Exactly. 
But sometimes those relationships are the most toxic and the most destroying for the children, especially where there is violence, mm. where there is abuse, where there is swearing, there is all sorts of ugliness in mm. the relationship. It's doing more harm to the child than good. Mm. Mm. And I noticed for my own part, the time I was saying I'm staying for my children, mm. it was with a very selfish agenda. Mm -hmm. It was because I wanted to continue with that label of being Mrs. So-and-so. Mm, mm. It's not because I was thinking of the welfare of the children, That's because right. they were not gaining anything from mm -hmm. that relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were getting beaten, they were getting um, angry words, and they were witnessing violence, and it was really bad. Mm. So never say I'm staying for the children. Mm. Mm. And if you've been um, bringing up the children together as a couple, yeah. you should always be on the same wavelength mm -hmm. with each other. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. doesn't matter you're going separate ways. For you to build up your children, you need to agree mm. on their welfare, mm -hmm. on their bringing up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know that when children are very young, they are most likely better off with mom. Mm -hmm. But there are instances where husband will say, you are not taking my children anyway. Yeah. If it's going to cause distress to your children, mm -hmm. it's better to leave those children because he too is those children's parents. Yeah, that's right. Unless you can see very clearly that he does things which will harm your children, mm -hmm. he does things that will not grow your children, mm -hmm then you really have no grounds to refuse to leave the children with your husband. Right. As women, we tend to think we are better parents than our husbands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's not always the case. Sometimes mm. men are very good at mm. raising up children better than their wives. Right. And vice versa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, if you can sit down, that's the best way to talk about it. Mm -hmm. This is how we are going to do it. Mm -hmm. If you're going to be living in the same vicinity, then it's best to co-parent. Right, right. Mm -hmm. It's best to co-parent. Make sure the children are not deprived of one parent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you are going to live a distance afar, you still can co-parent. School mm -hmm. holidays, children yeah. will go to the other parents. Exactly. Come back when it's school time, wherever they are going to school. Mm -hmm. Make sure there's the most minimal disruption to your children as possible. Mm -hmm. Because already, they are getting this disruption of mom and dad separating. We are getting and there. Kuzai, kuzai, kuzai chivura. We are getting there. Relax. We are getting there. We have to, because if we just run and address divorce, it's not going to help. We have been married no, no, no. before, yeah, we, we, and we, we I am to, still to married. I am married still. Aspects. So we need to help. There are some young people here who are struggling, and they don't have aunties and all this. Just because we got divorced before, it doesn't mean to say I don't know what marriage is all about. I am married <coughs> now. This is my second marriage, but I went through divorce. The reason why we are coming here and talking about these things is quit out umamun. I said I go through what we went through. You might save your marriage by what we are telling you. So this is the mentality that people have. Do you know how many Absolutely. marriages I have saved? Yep. I have saved so many marriages. Beata has saved so many marriages. We are helping yep. people who are, are getting pre-marital pre counseling, who are about to get into marriage. People yep. who have questions about relationships. So it is very important to understand if you are divorced and you're struggling wait we are getting there slowly and we are going to give you time to ask your questions so it is very paramount to for us to understand marriage first before you get in divorce like you can see we are sequentially going there chronologically because now we are talking about the situation is now beyond you are now yeah. about to get divorced. So we are talking about how do you present it to the kids? So you can't just That's go right. straight or, yeah, you know what, me, I'm, we have to address things systematically. Step They're, by step. Yeah, step, step by step, step because there are some people who are actually going through this in actual real life. And we are not going to rush it. Whoever is writing notes right now, they need to be helped properly. They are still in the marriage. They might save their marriage if they listen to some of the things that we are saying. Some people are paying money, paying money to get the information we are giving you here. And we are giving it for free. And if we decide yeah. to do it, we should do it properly. So, Beata, you can continue. 
Okay. So just um, take it this way. When you hear me talk, I've gone through this. Yeah. And I believe my experience, God has made me go through that experience so that I can learn from it mm -hmm. and share with somebody so that they may not fall into the same traps. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So, as I was saying, children need the least amount of disruption as possible. Mm -hmm. If we are saying in one town they are going to school there, mm -hmm. The husband decides to move to another town mm. and says, I'm taking the children. Mm -hmm. I would not suggest that. Or the wife decides to move to another town and say, I'm taking the children. Mm. I would not suggest that either. Unless the children voice that this is what they want to do. Mm. Mm. Go mm. The other parent. And even then, make sure that they complete their school year or whatever it is they are doing in their life. Yeah. They reach to, you know, to a certain point where it's minimal disruption for them to move. Exactly. And we can move them. Mm. Telling them what's going on, especially if it has been a very contentious marriage, mm. is, is important as well because it means that if you've had a contentious marriage for five years, for mm. those five years they've been living in fear of what's going to happen. Exactly. It's like in anticipation of the bad news, and they just know one day it's gonna happen. And already, this you know, I always say, um, I always say, you know, when we divorce as parents, we have already put our kids in a category where they have no choice, they have no uh, contribution to it. By so doing, they are already traumatized. And some of the kids, they have childhood trauma. Remember, we were talking about childhood trauma before on this platform. Childhood trauma, some of it comes from divorcing, yeah? And once you... Yeah, the fights and the yeah. argument, the, 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 you know, the swearing, and they are seeing all these things. One, they are growing up, they don't respect men or women, they don't respect marriage, they don't respect family, and the, the trauma, the pain that they, they go through, even their friends, now they have to explain to their friends. And a lot of things happen during that period when you decide, okay, this is what we are going to do. You will find if you don't support your kids, most importantly, these kids begin to uh, uh, slow down in everything that they're doing, especially schooling. Their grades begin to go down. Some are going to get depressed or stressed. Some can even get sick and all this. So these things have to be handled with wisdom. It needs wisdom, proper wisdom that comes from God. Yeah. That's correct. That's correct. Mm. And one thing I always say is, Never ever try to talk down about one parent to the children. Mm, exactly, exactly. If if you think there's something he or she is doing wrong, mm -hmm. talk to them in private. Tell yeah. them this is wrong. I don't like it when you do this with the children. Mm -hmm. Whatever. That of when you have the children. Hey, your father did this. Hey, he was the cause of this divorce. Hey, mm -hmm. these mm -hmm. children, you are forgetting they are coming from two people. Mm -hmm. You are not the single parent. You did not create this life on your own. That's it. These children have got a father, they've got a mother. Mm, mm, Growing mm. up, they need both. That's right. There's no way they're going to be functioning adults growing up with only one parent mm. or respecting mm. only one parent. That's right. What does it say in the Bible? Children, honor your father and mother. Mm hmm by talking down about your spouse to them, you are taking away the ability for them to obey that. Exactly, yeah. And their life will not be lengthened because they are now failing to obey one parent. You mm. are cursing your child. That's Don't it. do it. Don't do it. Don't, Don't do, do it. it. Mm. Always, if there is something wrong, leave it. Mm. 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 If children try to complain about the other parents to you, tell them, we need to talk to, to you about it all together. You can't come to me about this yeah. on your own. Let's talk about it with mommy. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it with daddy. Mm -hmm. exactly. If there is an issue of discipline, if children are disciplined by their other parents, they come to you and you do the opposite, stop it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you are not building up your children, you are killing them. You are destroying them. Now, let's move on to... um. 
Right. The healing, the healing for the actual person who is now the two people who are going to, who have, they have divorced the time. Yeah, it's just, it's gotten to a point where they have sorted out the kids. They have gone their separate ways. They have sat down, figure out uh, where the kids are going to be involved the solic solicitors and all this uh, for them to actually know the right way to go. Some people will go to their pastors, some will go to their families and they sit down and talk about it. It's now said and done. There is no more marriage. It's dissolved. It's gone. Yeah. It's a process uh, because some people have things that have uh, bought together, whether it's houses or properties or monies that need to be... Yeah. So in in the case of those kind of things, sometimes it's, you know, I'll say this, because you loved each other, that's why you got married in the first place. It's going to be difficult for you to, to do things sometimes amicably, just the two of you. So if you are finding it's too difficult for you to do with it, that, that's the two of you. And for example, the other person who was saying you have a narcissistic um, partner, there is no way you are going to waste time going round and round in circles because they can't make up their minds. All they are trying to do, there are some people who took a ramba na nai, anoda who took a ramba shiru wadzwa upenyu wako wese, akato, akato, wakuti you are doing well, ka anoda wadzwa saka muna gadaro yeyo is there to cause you so much pain. They are there to just torment and destroy what you are doing all the time. No matter what you are trying to do, they will go behind your back, talk bad about you to your friends, and that would destroy even the, the few that's left for you. Hamane shamari show my dozo za sara ziruguto mbogu batsiru wane kuku supporter. Ani nda nero weseri, ashita wala zinu shisinga iti and all this. Yeah. So you have to be very careful and the people that are surrounding you, you need to, by the spirit of discernment, I pray to God that the spirit of discernment will be a portion. Because it will help you to avoid getting into situations that are going to cause you more pain. Before you do, if you have the spirit of discernment, it is going to help you to realize even this person. Because when those kind of things happen, I'm telling you from my own experience, I saw people that I had never seen before. <laughs> Not only you. They were trying to knock sense into my head, trying to tell me this and that. I am not foolish. If you find me saying good in and it cannot be for a long time and we have done everything that it takes for us to get your point marriage my especially with our culture is doing things behind something you will be the last person to know by the time ya unozo everybody else Saka, you have to be very careful. When you go through this, there are some people who are there. I quite know what I have to say. I don't know what I come to stir up spirits. I don't know how much to say, but I don't know how much to say. 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 We heard it from the host's mouth. Some of the, because you are so vulnerable at that moment, you are going through too much, you are heartbroken, you are prone to just, you, your mind, sometimes, depending on the circumstances of divorce, your mind is even not stable, your mind, your mind is not sound, and sometimes even your family is not even supporting you, they are actually blaming you. Some God hates divorce. God hates divorce. Yeah, God hates divorce. Gara imo mo gomera unipo. Wada wenda kuna mai ulusika varu kutora medu muno mchicha urubiti. Saka musoro kuni kujita kubanda uyu. Unu kujita kuta pound. Zimu singa iti jasu kuti. If you are not careful ka. Anyone who wants to sing on a night, we're going to move the situation. Yeah, just because you have told them something, they have to say something. You understand? Do you all the night? Yeah, Saka, they have to say something. Saka, you have to be very careful. Go away or if you're not about it. I suggest the most important person to pour out your heart to is God. 
And when you go to God and pour out your heart to him, he will begin even to show you the right people that you are supposed to, to surround yourself with. He will begin to Alleluia. show you the people that you are supposed to avoid. I'm telling you, Kunevan Wakata had broken because they poured out to a pastor. pastor. Hey, this one is a prophet. Yeah, they are even seeing. If God says we see in part, we hear in part, he is not, he is the one who created us. Musazo nyepero tine, ndango au, ndatongo au za hangu, asindo zetu wano zio zese, apana zese zono zio. Vaka zio zese wa mwari. Do you understand? Saka, mwari wano tukurati zote, enda uku, usaye enda uku, taorani uyu, iso zuzi nyarara. Like, zwa hengo itama apostles, baya papa waifamba, God told them, Jesus said to them by the Holy Spirit, you know who to talk to and how to talk to them and when to say something and when. There is a time for everything. That is the worst time for you to be going around talking. Because you feel like you want to justify yourself. You feel like you want to be accepted in the community with your new status of being a divorced one. Right? Saka uka sangwara ipapo, you ndo paono kwa nisa kwenda unotawara bed about your spouse because nengo chiti, ah, wanu maono kundi zeoti and this rinda kata zaini. Ndiye ye yushu, wakata za, kati tazira, saka. Yes, it could be correct, but it's not going to help your situation because uwaka zo zins wa wawu imanje, unazo pesra wangu wati he's a narcissistic person and yet he's also annoyed with you. Ne uturungo uzamu nungwese wese. So it is a very critical time. You go to Zezu Taura, what to say, when to say it, and why to say it, and how to say it. It is very, very important to me. And that will help your healing process because I also create my drama. Akawanda. And it, you will not create uh, so many dramas. So this healing process, the person now wants to heal. How can they help themselves heal? For them to heal. I think we sort of touched a little bit on it at the start. Mm -hmm. It's all about forgiveness. Yeah. And somebody just wants you to, to sit, just wants you to sit there. Nothing happening with you. Mm. That's very true. Some spouses will be like checking in with you, pretend as if they, they want you back. Mm -hmm. And then when you start hoping, they go back to their old ways. Yes. Mm -hmm. It happens. Expect it. Oh, yeah. And uh, that's Shona saying, which he says, mm -hmm. it is so true. Mm -hmm. You start to attract all kinds of flies. Yeah, 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 yeah. You start to attract all kinds of flies. It's like you've got it written on your forehead Aye. to come and talk to me. Yeah, yeah, come on, like <laughs> you know? And people are like what you said, they are coming to just pick at the bones. Mm. They are not coming to build up. No. They are coming to hear what you are going through and then laugh on mm. the side. And laugh. Wait, wait, because you are going through so much pain. You are so eager to open up to the first person Aye. that comes to hear your story. And invariably, when you are at that stage, you are so bitter that everything that comes out of your mouth is to blame the other person. Exactly. It's never to take accountability for what your part of, of the story was. Mm. It's always to blame the other person. Mm. And mm. when you do that, you are not healing. You are actually putting more fire onto the wound. Yeah, you are poking exactly, the wound. Exactly. So what you need to do is to make sure that, you, like what you were saying, discern who to talk to, even mm. if you need to talk to anyone. Mm. For me, I literally had to move mm. states mm -hmm. because everywhere I turned, somebody would be willing to tell me what my ex was doing, who he was been with. All along, I was suspecting you something, but nobody ever approached me to say anything. Yeah. But all of a sudden, everyone wanted to tell me, mm. what's that going to do to me? It's going to kill me even more Yeah, because mm -hmm. I'm already hurting. Mm. So I literally had to move away to another state to remove myself from that toxic environment. Exactly, exactly. You don't have to do that. Mm, mm. You can just move away in the way you talk. That's right. If somebody comes, ah, they just say to them, ah, this is how it is, what can I do? Mm, mm -hmm. Don't make any comments, mm -hmm. don't give them any weapons. No. That they 
turn around and use later on. Yeah. To say, uh, no wonder that one, Akaram Kale Murume, Matawra is about Murume Waki. Exactly. But Anga Garrison. So people would try that. So first step, just remove yourself from everybody who comes as if they are being solicitors. Mm, I am never a solicitor, Kadi. Uh -huh. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether they are genuine, they are not. Just stop for a little while. Exactly. Gather your mind uh -huh. together. Mm. Concentrate on yourself. This also. Stop trying to ruminate over what went down, mm. what went wrong. Mm -hmm. Stop. It's already happened. Mm. This marriage is broken up mm. unless you want to rebuild it. Mm -hmm. There's no point in trying to ruminate over what went wrong mm. Mm. because mm. it's already gone wrong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And then whatever you think you were wronged in, mm. decide to put it down. That's right the foot of the cross of the Lord. Mm, mm -hmm. You cannot deal with it. Mm -hmm. You failed to deal with it during marriage, yes, oh, there's oh. no way you are going to be able to deal with it after you've separated. Mm, mm -hmm. Just put it down. Mm -hmm. Say, God, I forgive this person. Mm -hmm. I know I still have hurt within me, mm -hmm. but I choose to forgive. Mm -hmm. Why is it so important to forgive the other person? Mm. God cannot forgive you. Mm -hmm. Of your sins, if you are holding on to someone else, yeah, this is the law of the Lord. Mm. He forgives as you forgive. Exactly. So if you are not forgiven, it means you still have sin within you. Mm, mm, mm. You are not washed clean by the blood of Jesus. Amen. You Amen. are going into hell, my friend. Mm -hmm. So you need to forgive that mm -hmm. other person. Mm -hmm. You need to forgive yourself because obviously at some level you are blaming yourself for That's something. That's right. That's right. You need to forgive yourself and move away from it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The yeah. next step I did for myself was to focus on myself. Because mm -hmm. all along after I divorced, I was praying about this man because I was hoping to reconcile. Mm -hmm. I was praying, God, break him. Yeah. Change him. Make him more like David. Make him more like he was. Make him more like all these other men. Yeah. That's what that was my prayer, to be mm. honest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, but then okay. I reached a stage where I said to myself, but mm. what about me? Yes, you are neglecting yourself, focusing on the what other about person. Me? Yeah. Exactly. And what is it in me that he didn't like so much? Mm. I started self-reflection. Exactly. I started self-reflection, mm. praying. At that time, I couldn't fast, mm. to be honest. Mm -hmm. But I decided to fast one meal a day. Yeah. Fasting one meal a day, praying. Mm -hmm. If somebody has watched the movie War Room, that was me. I was literally just praying. But I was not praying for restoration at this stage mm -hmm. for the marriage. I was praying for restoration of myself. Mm -hmm. Because I was at that stage where I was so depressed, mm. I would sit in the bus or in the tram and just find myself crying. Another person would be the one to ask me, are you okay, mm. without realizing I'm crying. I had physical ailments, I had migraine, mm. I had joint pain, I had ulcers. I had all kinds of illnesses. So if you've got bitterness in your heart, it doesn't end there. It starts affecting your whole body. Exactly, exactly. Because there are neurotoxins in your body that get affected by your mood. Mm, mm, mm. You know? There are those things. You guys in the medical field will probably be able to tell me better about this. But mm. I know that if you eat chocolate, you are happy. Mm -hmm. Why does this physical act of eating chocolate affect your mentality of being happy? Mm -hmm. It's because it's all interconnected, it's physical, interconnected. emotional, spiritual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are one body with one spirit. Mm -hmm. We haven't got parts to share with other people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So whatever you are doing within you is affecting you. This person is wherever they are. <laughs> My guru, you know what? I always say um, bitterness is fermented unforgiveness. 
Yato chato chi seven days. Chachi kokia na chanu forgiveness. So true. Chachi kokia na chachi jugutu. Ukaramba uchima. Ukaramba uchima. Yato are yato toxic to a point where it's it's destroying. It's it's a weapon that was created by God to destroy the offended, not the offender. So you have to come to a point where you make a decision to say, okay. Am I going to destroy myself while this other person is having fun? They are enjoying themselves. And we know the person that we are not forgiving and we are wishing them bad, they are actually making it in life. We are not going to join our business. Join our career. We are going to chatter. They are doing really well. You are going to do the punch of one. We should mirror out to pen you. We should drive when you move. We are to move on. No pen you. We are to end. You are busy. Come on, you cocky and such bitterness, guys. Guys, you know. Noshi kapa point yangu zote i upenyu kwa things happen eventualities of life happen pain can come and go hurt can come and go you know but the most important thing like Biata is saying kure gerera kure gerera kwaka kosha you don't want to move from unforgiveness when there is bitterness here from bitterness here to resentment wana BP wana hypertension wana ma migraine wana ma ulcers iwe 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 the devil designed that to destroy you and you have to get to a point where you understand that your healing does not depend on the other person no you wishing them well, which never does it. Gary Zu, Gary Zuane, not the Ching Gazu, Gary Zuane, a man or whatever word. Gary Zuane, Riro, and the motor and a Ritsuka and a bus. Dire got to one a bus. Sukam, you can't do that. Who does it destroy and I could not have a dog at our Pindu and a marine because every prayer is not just the volume of your voice, it's not about how you are raising your hands or rolling on the floor or speaking until you are blue in the face. A prayer is the condition of your heart. Yeah. A prayer is the motive behind what you are saying. Mm -hmm. Is it building or it is destroying? Are you now a <laughs> devil worshiper or what? Where are you going? Two wrongs don't make a right. Exactly. You are not going to go to God and try and defend. Vengeance. <laughs> Vengeance is mine. Sia naine chikokia na chibita nesi ichi. Mobati rapa mpendero wenguo ya jesu yu. Dopa nova healing yenu. Stop blaming yourself for what has happened. Instead, acknowledge. Take accountability. Do inventory and extraventory. Whatever you word, whether there's a word like that. Self reflection. You could not in any what part did I play? Because I'll tell you the truth. In any as an individual, I had to sit down. I read a lot of books on marriage, premarital stuff, and all this. I had to focus on myself to realize where did I actually got it wrong? Because it takes two to tango. Mazizo. Tango I eat with a moon one, two. Kudana na kwenye tu, mukuira na kwenye mguneta na kwenye tu, which means there are certain things that you took for granted. There are certain things that you took literally not seriously that were now amplified. Beata said that earlier on, whatever and however your spouse is or your partner or your boyfriend is right now, those things are going to amplify. Saka unepati ya waka player. You, you, in one way or the other, there are some parts of the relationship where you ignored the red flags. And these red flags, they are now amplifying. It's not all the time that it is your, your like it was your fault or what. But along the way, along the way, you realize things were happening. Be objective with yourself. Stop wallowing in your self-pit. Forgive no. yourself. No, Tell yourself not no righteousness. Thing. Because yeah. we are all human. We are fallible. Mm. Whether you played a big part or a little part, exactly. you did not do what you were supposed to do to keep the marriage, yeah. right? Yeah. So, yeah. So, so you need to be able to reach that stage where you can say, you know what? Mm. I am responsible uh, for my own actions. Exactly. This person is responsible for their own actions. Exactly. Whatever I do, is my responsibility because whatever that person did, mm, mm. your responsible your responsibility was monitoring how you reacted. Yes. If you reacted negatively, then what uh, Exactly. Okay. So you need to be to reach that stage where you acknowledge that mm -hmm. because that will be the first step for your healing. Exactly. And while you are while you're doing that, the most important thing is supporting 
a supportive system yeah you got to get the supportive system you know yourself better you know your coping mechanism unoziva zva unokwanisa kuita nepa unogumira saka you have to if you have to look for help don't think that people are going to think that i'm so weak no that doesn't mean to say you're weak it just tells you that you every person has a maximum potential and now you are at a point where you need to get help and if you need to get help professional help or support system it. yeah just do it Leave and it. save it's yourself Mm-hmm. Exactly, exactly. That's very, very important. Um, does it mean good for me or does she mean good for me from the fruit of their mouth? Exactly. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because sometimes you know, we are already pretending to want to help. Mm-hmm. If all I'm doing is asking questions, uh-huh. I'm not saying anything constructive. Why no. am I really there? No, no, no. So just fishing for info. Uh just uh, just as we are concluding, um I want to say your happiness does not depend on any other person. Mm-hmm. It depends on you. Yes. And you, the one who is looking at me, your help, your happiness or your joy depends on you. You can choose to be miserable the whole day. You can choose to be happy. You can choose to be angry. Life is about choices. Don't you ever think, even those who are married, who are still in marriage, if you are so focused on this person needs to give me all the attention, they need to make me happy. They, they are not God. One day they are going to disappoint you. So you go to know why you are there. You go to understand how to handle situations and circumstances of your life. Those who are divorced right now, they are single parents or you are not a parent, but you have been married and you are divorced. I want to give you advice. Put value on yourself. This is another thing that I always get in my inbox. Put value on yourself. Don't look down upon yourself and you think, okay, uh, you know, I'm a second-hand thing now. I've been married and divorced and blah, blah. Whether you're a man or a woman, put value on yourself. If me and Beata did not put value on ourselves, do you think we're going to be able to do this live streaming, trying to help someone? You know, for you to make it in life, for you to get where you are supposed to go, you have to know that your past does not determine your future. And while you learn from your future, I always say it's not a loss, it's a lesson. Whatever has happened to you, it's either it's a blessing, it's not a loss, it's a lesson. Use that lesson not to make the same mistake. I always say making the same mistake over and over again. You can make a mistake, it's allowed, but repeating the same mistake over and over again is foolishness. I'm sorry to say this, foolishness. And then when you begin to continuously repeat the foolishness, it ceases to be foolishness. It becomes a decision. That's right. That decision also of not deciding what you want in decision. Kusato decide. I go return decision. I want make a rule. Recognize a value on yourself to say, I need to put a stop on this. I need to begin to do this and that. I'm not going to allow anyone to treat me like this. Did you hear what uh, Beata said? Someone was making me laugh and uh, typing there. Pani munangash type chiti. Arambwa anuwa. Aniwa anuwirira. You have to know, you have to remove yourself from kunuwa. What's in wiriri zawega? Because ukasa zin wiriri zawega. Sure, I'm not kunuwa. And you attract, <laughs> you attract all sorts of rubbish. You got to know to put your brakes to say, ah, uh-uh, no, 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 no. Just because my hands are on the ground, but the guys who are not in it, I guess maybe Beata, you also came across that, and everyone else. Muno tanga ko na varume wa nu chaya chaya, muno zona wa nu asina ku kwana wa wa kuzwaji. Ami tisko futi ne muru mwa ningi, ane mwa na baba chawa zika nu ane ane ane. Aika kash, aika kash. Please value yourself. Some of us we put value on ourselves. As a result, we are where we are right now today. She's in business. She's she's expanding. She's doing things. She's doing things. Studying. If she's teaching other women, she has a platform. My group platform. You know the chief. You know the by Queen B. Yeah, can I'm trying to follow up this wonderful woman of God? Tari saipa Facebook, ane page rager nons by Queen B. Inini, vanengwa shida one zwangu side kwangu, vanoda kuku understand a more about what I do. 
you can also come to my page. I have my page called Another Chance with Gladys. There we minister life. We also do all sorts of things that we do here. Yeah? She's just typed there by Queen B. We do all sorts of things. Another Chance with Gladys. Uh, trying to build each other. Trying to help each other. Now, you can call. Actually, I have pinned my number there. You can be free to call there. And uh, Beata is here to answer your questions. I'm here to answer your questions. If you are uh -huh. here, you can't be here for this long and not be helped. I always say when you come and answer, ask your questions here, we don't need to know your name. We we'll just call you caller. That's all. Yep. When you come here, we help you for free. But when you come to our firm, when you come to our companies, that's now business. So yeah. take advantage of this opportunity. While we are here, we answer for free. We don't charge nothing. But once you visit our firm, it's professionalism, and we are in taking you in as a client. So feel free. The number is there, plus 614-058-64800. Call and ask your questions and get clarification or whatever you might be troubled with. It might be you. It might be a friend, a family member, or a colleague that you might help by, uh, you know, calling and then ask. While we are doing that, Beata, I'm going to go on... Um, my questions, there are some questions I'm going to ask you. Right. Why does society judge the single parents and label them? Kuma chechu kuka inini, I experienced a lot of, uh, you know, labeling and judging. People thought you were going to go to church and you were going to go to church and you were going to go to church. You and me both. And <laughs> now, Imagine. So, why is it people have this mentality of thinking there is insecurity in that person's marriage, right, my group? That is correct. They have it's insecurity. And one of their wives, their marriage. husbands are capable of doing. And you would think, and you would think, right, 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 straightforward. But no, 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. How many people go to church mm -hmm. just for keeping up appearances? Ah, I so get you. So many people go to church just to see what my Mzula is dressed like today. You will be surprised. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Paul, apologize. <laughs> I don't know whether it's with other cultures as well, but I found specifically with the Zimbabwean culture mm -hmm. that no cautious so much could he, who is this person attached to. Mm. We forget about the individual. Exactly, exactly. We forget that in themselves mm. they are a person. Every time we meet someone, Sakai Mime Munon's Mayan. You don't even know the questions you are asking, how painful they can be to somebody. Exactly. Somebody probably is failing to have children. You are asking them how many children have you got. In Nipanaba, guys, I had, uh, Beata knows this, I had nine, nine miscarriages, nine miscarriages, okay? Exactly. Imagine, imagine, Why? <laughs> so my happiness as a person relies on God. We need to move away from that concept. For me to be happy, mm -hmm. I need to have a husband to make me happy. Exactly, exactly. It's my God who makes me happy. Mm -hmm. It's my frame of mind. My faith in God, which makes me happy. Mm, mm -hmm. Now I make a conscious decision to grab on to the joy of the Lord. Mm, That's me. Mm. And those women or men who feel that when a single man or a single woman mm. enters an environment, they are a threat, then they need to really look at themselves or and uh, reflect on what they are lacking mm -hmm. that this other man or this other woman has got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if 
you are confident in your relationship, yeah, you should be you worried. You shouldn't be worried about who else is in, in the outside. No. Because women are going to be everywhere. Mm. Men mm. are going to be everywhere. Yeah, exactly. You can't so stop that. If he is not a faithful husband or a faithful wife, mm. obviously you're going to worry about the first best thing that comes near mm -hmm. or near him. Right. Next so question. The next is it is a sign of insecurity in your relationship. The you next one might be trust issues in the that next question. The next question is um <laughs> And uh, let me see. Having to forgive if we have addressed it, we just leave it. Does being single mean that they have a disease? Uh, you, you know, we have addressed that one. Uh, having to forgive and move on, knowing it all falls to you. And how do you soon? Oh God, I don't understand this. How soon do you let your child know that the other parent is not there? They never were a part of their life. Do you tell them? Or you don't okay so basically this person is trying to say possibly the other parent just decided they are moving on with their life and they disappeared they never came to check on the kids and all this and this other parent is raising the child by themselves at what stage do you tell the pet the child what happened do you wait for the child to ask when they have grown a bit no. yeah no that I haven't met that situation, but I think mm -hmm. right from the start, you tell them every child has got a, a right to know they've got a father or a mother somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. According to their stage in life, mm -hmm. you keep it simple when they are young. Yeah. Yes, you've got daddies in, in uh, Melbourne or in Arare, wherever. Mm -hmm. As they grow older, mm -hmm. You also adjust your explanations to match. It's not going to be a surprise to them anymore because you started it when they are young. They already mm -hmm. know I've got an absentee parent. Mm -hmm. So my mom is not a widow or anything like that. Mm -hmm. My dad is not a widower mm -hmm. or anything like that. There's an absentee parent somewhere. Yeah. So when you start young, it's not going to be a difficult conversation as they grow older. Mm -hmm. You add information as you go along. Right. So the, this one says um, some of the some of the single parent fail uh, fail to accept that the baby dead has moved on. Drama rachurino zonyanya. I'm just reading. It says drama rachurino zonyanya. <laughs> it's true. I will tell you for my own part, mm -hmm. I found it really hard to mm -hmm. move on to accept that my marriage had ended. Yeah. And I kept trying to make all efforts. If I was going to lose weight, it was so that he could see me. Yeah. If mm -hmm. I was going to dress well, it was so that he could see me. Mm -hmm. To such an extent that I reached a point where, how many years? Five years after my divorce, mm -hmm. I actually accepted when he came back to me to say, let's reunite. Mm -hmm. It happens. Mm, mm, mm. To discover that I was now the small house. Ah, yeah, in the small house, Jay. There was somebody he was living with. He would only, because he lives in another state, yeah. he would only come to me one week, maybe one weekend mm, mm. in three months or something. This whole time he's living with somebody else. And he was and uncle me that you want to place value on ah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. Value, it. value, value, value. Place value on yourself. Mm. If you are in the situation where you've got the man who is doing that, mm -hmm. or the woman who is doing that, mm. then it's a communication issue you need to sit down and talk about it. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's something that I'm failing to add to to satisfy you with in this new relationship that you are in, that you keep going back to mm -hmm. the old one. Mm -hmm. So I think you need to communicate that. If you are the one going back, who doesn't want to let go, you need to place value on yourself. It comes down to that, again, of you only get your happiness from God and from mm. yourself. Okay, this one says, why is that when wife... I'll read it as it is, like, yeah, the English. Why is it that when wife wants to move on, uh, she wants to move with the kids? Soon after I try to move on, that's when she claims that I should have to ask her or talk over what the kids are surviving on food and the like so basically he's trying to say his ex-wife automatically after they said they want to divorce 
She said uh-huh. she was going to go with the kids. I don't know how old the kids were. She said she was going to go with the kids and she's trying to discuss with this man uh, about food and uh, like upkeep. So to him, he feels like he should be the one going with the kids and let but her. Children, or is it a matter of he feels like he shouldn't be asked what the kids are surviving on? Why is it that when wife wants to move on with her own life, she takes the kids with her? <laughs> it doesn't have, that's what I said before, it doesn't have to be that way. Yeah. It's a, the it's... two of you will have to discuss it and determine what is the best for the children. Because mm-hmm. here, you guys are making decisions mm-hmm. which the children are out of control of. They can't right. control those decisions. They haven't got a choice. Exactly, exactly. So you really need to sit down together and talk about it and make sure you agree this is the best for the children Mm. and that of using children to hurt each other Mm -hmm. is a very bad thing you are abusing your children Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you are damaging them for life Mm -hmm. you should never use your children Mm -hmm. to hurt somebody don't take the children just because you don't want the other person to have them but you don't even want to have them in way Right. The most uh, challenge I have, I have had, is to balance between work and family. This is really, this is a very valid question. So this person is saying, now the divorce has happened. I'm left with the kids. The partner is far away. And I need to balance life here, her own life. And now the kids are in the picture. Like, literally, she has no time to rest. She is running hither and tither, trying to make ends meet to look after these kids. Where is the other parent not supportive? The other parent is not supportive, nowhere in the picture. So now it now depends where you are in the world as well. Mm. Mm-hmm. If you are in Australia, I know that you can get child support through mm-hmm. the government. Yeah. Even in Zimbabwe, I think you can get child support through the government. You can get somebody's salary garnished Mm -hmm. so that you can get child support. It's about finances. Mm -hmm. You can get support. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If it's about your time, finding time to do things, to be with the children and balance with work, Mm -hmm. that's where Sis Gladys talked about you need a support system. Yes. You need to build around you a support system. Mm Mm-hmm. So it means that you need to have people you can trust, whom you can say, you know what, today I just need two hours on my own. Mm, Can mm. you take care of the kids for me? Exactly, exactly, yeah. I'm in Melbourne. Mm -hmm. I will be happy to Mm -hmm. take care of somebody's child for them if they are struggling. That's right. So in your area, you need to reach out to other people to say, you know what, I'm struggling. Mm. I need help. Mm-hmm. Like what that is said before. Right. What do you but tell? But if it's finances, you have to find an avenue to, so that each parent is responsible for their children. It says in the Bible that if you don't provide for your family, it's a sin. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, Fiona Manioni, you are saying it spot on. There are some people, like Beata is saying, they want mm-hmm. to use kids as a weapon to hurt each other, and it doesn't work like that. No, it's not good. I have good relationship. I have a 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 relationship. I have a good relationship. I have a good relationship. a good relationship. I have a good and it makes it easier for me, and it makes communication even easier. The moment you try to shield each other using kids, friction actually Yeah, it's not good. Just leave kids to be and let them enjoy both parents when they grow up. If they are asking, you need to find a stra- yeah, find a strategy. Yeah, find a strategic way of telling them what happened without causing more pain, you know? Okay. Be supportive to them because already they're in a very tricky situation. Mm-hmm. They're already in a very tricky spot. Let them yeah. enjoy both parents. It's okay. 
it's okay. And it makes you heal better. You heal better. As long as you have principles and you don't get taken advantage of because you are trying to, you know, create a good rapport between the two of you for the sake of kids. Don't be taken advantage of. Have principles no. in place. Have principles. Just have boundaries. Yeah, have boundaries. So this one is saying, what do you tell a six-year-old son who keeps requesting to meet his dad and the dad does not want to be part of this child's life? This is our last question of the day. That's a difficult one. It is very difficult. But you have to tell them, mm -hmm. you know, your dad is sore and so, mm -hmm. but they have said at this stage they are not ready to meet you. Mm -hmm. it's, it's painful. You can't beat around the bush with you that cannot, kind of information. You cannot because the child is going to continue to ask. Possibly exactly. he's also facing pressure. With other kids, you see, he's six year old, meaning he's going to school. Mm -hmm. So, you know, these kids sometimes they hear, "Oh, my mom and my dad, my mom," and he's just like saying, "My mom, my mom," and they don't ever see the dad dropping him off, and they ask, "You know, where is your dad? Does he live in the same state with you, or does he live somewhere else?" Now he's having pressure. This is how it ends up affecting kids. Now he's having pressure, and. We have to be very careful whether the parent who is having this child, the mother, whether she's also putting an effort to have a good relationship with this father. Exactly. Because if you're not having a good relationship with the father, how do you expect this father to be comfortable enough to say, I want to see the child? If you have done what you should do and the man is still saying, I don't want to see this child, then you go to find a way, God will give you wisdom to talk to your son and say, you know what, at this stage, dad... Uh, is not in a comfortable position to be able to, you know, for you to be there or to see him or whatever. But we'll continue to work on it. When something changes, I will let you know. That's right. And and there's nothing much you can do about that. Some people no, they will just no. yeah. Some people will just be like that even forever. They will even move to another country, just to I don't yeah. know. You know, you can't change people. You are not God. Yeah. No, you're not. But you know what. God says, do everything that you do as though doing for him. Mm. So don't be bitter raising your child on your own. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Do you mm -hmm. know that children are not blind? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to explain that situation to them. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple. Dad is not ready to meet you. When he's ready, I'll take you straight away. That's right. Don't them, ah, after all, I'm just taking care of you on your own. What do you want the child to do with that kind of information? They'll start feeling guilty. You are making their hearts heavy. Ay, 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 ay. You don't need that. Don't just throw my this is the situation. Don't panotagi. Yeah, don't panotagi a child who throw my child. Yeah, you got to be very, <laughs> very strategic. And sometimes if you don't know how to put it across, get some advice. Supportive system, yeah. Those that you have been led to by God through the spirit of discernment. Not everyone. So we have to be very careful. Anyway, uh, it looks like we are done for the day. Thank you so much, everyone. Can I just say one word? Yes, please. Go ahead. Those who are still in marriage, mm -hmm. and you feel a sliver of hope that you can restore, restore your marriage. But if you are under abuse, you need to really reflect on what you need to do. Mm hmm those who have decided to divorce and mm -hmm. are divorced, yeah. don't let that be your label. Refuse to be called a divorcee. No. You are a divorced queen, you are a divorced king. Yeah, yeah. Waiting for their king or queen. Yes. Sent by God. Mm -hmm. It is not mm. the end of life. That's it. Don't let it discourage you. Don't let it kill your spirit. Yes. You yes. can still have a life after divorce. Yeah, exactly. As for me, these are my last words. Circumstances of your life do not identify you. Okay? Amen. There are three things. There is what we call assumed identity. Right? There is what we call assigned identity. Then there is divine identity. What does God say about you? There's nothing that takes God by surprise. Whether you are married, you are going to get married, you are divorced or what. I want you to know that nothing takes God by surprise. So you have to be very careful how you address yourself. And you have to be very careful to stop people addressing people the way God would not address you. 
You are Gladys. You are not the divorced Gladys. You are Gladys. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are royalty. You are a princess. You are a child of God. You are the apple of God's eye. You have to address yourself as such and keep telling yourself, put value on yourself every time. The way you see yourself and reflect to the rest of the world is how people are going to see you. But if you are behaving the way that the people are going to put labels on you, the way you hold and handle yourself, those knows that you refuse to be called by, like to, to, to let people call you by names that are funny names and all this. As we shall series, you know, 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 you you know, 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 you you my guru wangu wa biata awa chechi ata yenda ata yenda tese iko koko. Mm. Aha. Taka ngodai newa na yendu tichita zinuzuedu bati chechi iyo yo yo yata yenda tese iyo yo. We are ministers in that church. Antitika inine muru mwangu. Mm. Daka shula pakungo zewati mwari doza maga tinifure la so. You taught me something. It's not a loss. It's a lesson and we are moving on. So thank you so much. God bless you for your Everyone. coming God here. God you. bless you until we see each other again. I'll let oh, Beata go. It's quite late. <laughs> by Queen B, don't forget to visit her page by Queen B. Don't forget to go to my page, Another Chance with Gladys. Chance with Gladys. Go and like those two pages and you'll oh, see us goodness. there. We'll continue to build. God bless you. Bye-bye.